Recreational Centre, where community becomes unity. So as you come through the front door at Ram Recreational Centre, you will be greeted at our front counter by one of our beautiful team members. Here you will have to sign in. So by signing in, you'll be signing a liability waiver. Now one of the rules we have at Ram Recreational Centre is anyone under the age of 12 needs to be accompanied by an adult. That's just for liability and safety reasons. So that is one of our main rules. So sign the liability and then you are free to come through into the recreational center. So before we go any further into the recreational center, I just want to say we are still doing our final clean and tidy up before you guys come on the weekend. So things are still a little bit messy and things aren't exactly in 100% of where they're going to be. So just be mindful of that in the video guys. So once you have signed into the liability waiver, you're free to roam through into the recreational center. You can see we've got movie style chairs all the way along this basketball wall here. That is for the comfort of yourself to put on your roller skates and all that kind of stuff. Following through all the way to the back here. This area here is going to be the first of our just lounges, sort of our seating area where you can put your bags down, you can relax in between the skating sessions. We are still yet to put up some fans and a few different things here. But this is basically how it's going to look. We've got a little basketball game at the back here, which when I bought it, the person off Facebook Marketplace told me that it worked. I can't get it to work, so if anyone knows anything about these, feel free to fix it, because I don't know anything about it, and um, I'll beat the high school straight away. I'm going to this game. So the kids zone. This is basically where we want your little ones to be able to just entertain themselves. We've got a ball pit, we've got some books, we've got a heap of different toys. We've got good timber toys though. None of this old stuff. We've got nice old fashioned timber toys. All different stuff. We've got a chalkboard. We've got ABC kids running up there. We've got a padded floor. So the idea of our kids zone is basically you plump the kids in here. You can still watch them from the skating rink, which is just behind us there. And yeah, this is the idea. So the kids will sit in here, self-entertain themselves, where you can have some fun in the roller skating rink. Coming out of the kids area, we do have a set of stairs just to the left there, but we will go up there, but we're gonna show you what's down on the ground floor before we head up onto the mezzanine. So, walking along, you'll see the skating rink behind me. You have multiple access points to the skating rink. That's for safety reasons. We're gonna have someone on the skating rink at all times as well, just for your safety and for our safety. So, if any issues, please feel free to contact our room recreational staff. They'll be wearing similar shirts to me, except on the back they will have staff, and you'll see we'll have earphones and things like that as well. So, if you just look to the left of me here, we've got a recycling and a waste bin, as well as our community board. So basically, this is for any flies from the community, upcoming events, things like that, or local businesses. If you want to advertise in here, feel free to drop some of your flies off, take flies from here. That's the whole idea of it. Just please, I don't want to see any of this fly straight in the trash, because it's not what you do. After the notice board, we are going to have our two bathrooms. Now, our bathrooms are exactly married. They're both unisex and disabled. So basically, if a bathroom's free, you can just go into it. I'm going to show you this one here. And just remember, they are exactly married. So what's on this side is exactly on that side. So basically, if you come into the bathroom, we've got a toilet, a sink, hand washing display, toilet dispenser, etc. All the general toilet stuff. And over here, which is my favorite thing, and I'm gonna buy them for my home, an automatic hand dryer. So, no paper waste or anything like that. Memory Recreational Center is trying our best to do things for the environment. We do also have a shower facility here. Just bear in mind, it is an old school shower, so if you like showering in, say, the old town swimming pool, or if you ever took showers at school, you don't know what it's like. It's, it's not the best shower. But it is there if you do need to. So. This is exactly the same as the bathroom on the other side, so, the bathrooms.
coming out of the bathrooms now, you're gonna have a little seating area just off of here. Basically, the idea of this is just another area to sit down, catch your breath, and things like that. Basically, in between sessions, store your belongings here, things like that. Another beautiful seating area. Further around the corner here, we have another seating area and another seating area. Basically, there's lots of places to sit down at Ram Recreational Center. We understand, especially in summer, it does get quite hot. This place isn't air conditioned, unfortunately, so we have created lots of seating and we are gonna have lots of fans. This place isn't 100% done yet, guys, so we do have lots more ideas and we just wanted to get this place open for you guys as soon as possible instead of dragging the process on. So. Ram Recreational Centre is only going to get better and better with time. So right behind me you will see fresh water fountains. Just be mindful of the second one because it <laughs> shoots to the stars just like we all should in life. So next thing we are going to see is the canteen which is just to the right of me. This is the main canteen. This is where you will do the roller skating fire. You will pay for your roller skating sessions. This is where we're going to have snacks such as chips that are going to go on this beautiful display stand. We're going to have candy bars chocolates, all that kind of good stuff for you. We also do have tea and coffee for the older people or anyone who wants to drink tea or coffee. We have those facilities available as well as soft drinks, ice creams. Hopefully we're gonna have all different kinds of things. So basically, just like Ram Recreational Center, our canteen is still gonna be growing and getting more foods, more things like that with due time. So at the moment, we've got a roller skate, um, hi here, we've got the coffee and all that good stuff. So I'm going to bring you behind the counter just for a split second and show you the roller skates that we have. So with the roller skate hire, we have adjustable skates. Instead of me buying all the different sizes, I found that this was the best option. So these ones here have a little button on the side and our smallest go from kids size 13, which is quite small, up to a kids 2. Okay, so they are adjustable just by the push of a button. The next set of sizes is a size 3 through to a size 5. So the next size we have is a size 6 to a size 8. So this one here will fit a lot of the younger people and younger adults and stuff like that. It is still fully adjustable. Moving on from the 6 to the 8, we have a few bigger size pairs. So I have two 7s, I have three sets of 9, and three sets of 10. Now this is my favourite part about these 10s is usually it's either going to be someone with a really big foot or like the dad of the family. Now the dad of the family, if they hire roller skates, they're going to be the lucky ones that have the light up wheels. So it's going to be funny watching the kids make fun of their dad rolling around and <laughs> light up wheels. So that's our roller skate collection. We have a fair few pairs um, available, but we do advise if you do have roller skates, if you do have your helmets, and your elbow protection, knee protection, all that good stuff, please bring it um, because obviously our pairs are limited. So yeah. Now, after this, let's go upstairs. Welcome to the mezzanine. So this is gonna be our little arcade area. It's not a typical arcade. Basically, I don't know why I called it an arcade. It was just the first thing that sort of came to my head. It's more of a chilled, relaxed area. So we've got more movie style feeding. We've got TVs up on the side. You'll be able to see one in the far at the back there. Basically, we've got two ping pong table machines. We've got three pool tables. Now, our three pool tables are compiled of two that I designed basically for kids or just for people to have fun with. They're going to be free pool tables, but if people are going to be silly with the pool cues and the pool balls, then I will take that away and you will need a deposit to use the machines. But until then, hopefully, I'm putting the trust in the Innisfail community. Use the sensible with these things. So. These pool tables are going to be free. The big main pool table is a dollar to play. So a dollar gold coin. If you need coins, come down to see us at the canteen and we'll be able to supply you with the coins. Got a couple bookcases up here as well. At the moment, I've only got a few little novelty books like, um, like the Guinness World Records and a couple different like Ripley's Believe It or Not pull out books. Got a couple comic books and things, but eventually I want to do like a free library where you take a book or give a book, take a book, all that kind of good stuff. So. Let me know if that's something the community wants to get behind because free library at Rem Recreational Center sounds like something that I'd be interested in. I read a lot of books and yeah, be cool. I'd contribute, would you? So we also have two ping pong tables. Now, that, like I said, with the pool tables, the ping pong tables are gonna be free at the start. So if you do abuse the right to the ping pong paddles and the balls and everything like that, guys, you will need to come down to the canteen and give us a deposit. 
before you actually get the equipment. But again, I'm putting my trust in you guys. Let's prove me right and show that the Innisfail community is all good. So the other really cool thing that we do have in Rim Recreational Center is what I'm calling our multi-arcade, a multiverse arcade. So basically, this arcade machine has 2,800 games preloaded into it. So you can sit here and you can scroll through all the games. They're very old school, so you're thinking Street Fighter, Tekken, Pac-Man, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, all the old school classics that your parents and that probably played back in the day in the arcades, like the legit arcades. We've got them here, and we've built these type of things, um, basically, just to house them all. So guys, we've got some rules on the machines as well, so if you do have any issues, or don't abide by these rules, Ram Recreational staff does reserve the right to kick you off them and kick you out of the facility. So guys, we're doing this for you, we're putting all our trust in you, so prove us right, and let's keep this place open and thriving. So basically, this mezzanine is exactly mirrored. So what's on one side is exactly on the other side. So no arguing, if you don't like someone over there, come over and use this side. It's exactly the same, it's just opposite. So on the big TVs, we're gonna have a variety of different things, whether they're gonna be YouTube videos playing through, movies, or different stuff. We also do have a couple handheld machines that I'm getting that are gonna be plugged into those machines as well. This area up here as well as being like the arcade, you can also use it as a viewing platform or come up here and take photos of your kids or your family members or any loved ones that are in the roller skating rink and having a good time. So use this as a viewing platform. Just be mindful guys, this height is legal, but it's not the highest, so no kids to be climbing up on the handrails, anything like that. I have told all my staff members just to be mindful of things like that and not to be afraid to get up someone who is doing something unsafe. It's just for our safety guys, it's for your safety and we want community to become unity, not community to become broken necks. So that's basically it. I have one last thing to show you up here. All the way along this back wall up on the mezzanine is actually a seat. It's not the most comfiest and eventually I will get cushions for it. But for the time being, it's a solid little seat where you can put your bags down or you can sit down and watch your mates play ping pong or play on the arcade, things like that. So it is a seat. Don't be jumping and climbing on it because it leaves footprints, as you will see my footprint. It's a seat for your butt. So guys, I do have more... I do have more... I'm smiling at me behind the camera and it's making me stuff up. <laughs> So we do have more plans for this place as well. I do want to get some typical arcade machines, like, I don't know what type, just real arcade machines eventually. But all in good time, guys, this is not a short thing. I want Room Recreational Center to be around forever for my kids to enjoy, for, for their kids to enjoy even. So we're creating a legacy, we're creating a something here that's gonna be here, guys. So just remember that we can't open up with everything, but this is the best we could do for now and it's only going to get better. Outside, we still have a few things that we have to do. Our car park is okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So there's still a few lumps and bumps. It's not the smoothest, which is something that I want to try fix. And it's also not currently marked. Um, so I just don't want people to be able to get boxed in. These are things that we are going to do, but I don't know if we're going to be able to have time to get them done by opening. So guys, when you are parking at Rem Recreational Center, just be mindful of other patrons that are going to be parked here. Feel free to park up on the grass over there. All this area here, you'll see the staff will be parked sort of where my car is, but everywhere else is free range, guys. Just be mindful as well. There will be one spot that we do need available right at the front, just in case of ambulances and for um, anything just like that, just for safety reasons. We wanna have one right at the front. Apart from that, free range guys. Also, right down the end of my driveway, I'm not walking all the way down there. I've got flags, banners, and a street sign that's actually on its way. So they are also gonna be, hopefully, hopefully they're gonna be here by the weekend. So that's all exciting. This place will be nice and lit and we have got the signs and all that kind of good stuff up on the roof now. That's all lit up as well. Also, a very quick shout out to that woman there, which is my mother and my grandmother for planting this garden. It looks spectacular. Also got a compliment on it today. And I said, I wish I could take it, but it's mum and dad or mum and nuna. And Daniel for doing the veggie garden, which looks a little bit sad at the moment, not gonna lie bro, but we've already had some veggies from it, which are taste. So this is the main entrance for the Rainbow Recreational Center. Now I am aware that people do smoke in life. So we've shunted you smokers all the way around the back. So if you keep walking, you'll 
past our staff car park. This door won't be open. You'll come around to the veggie garden. So the veggie garden is known as the smokers area. Please, please, please do not throw your cigarette butts into the veggie garden. I will be very cross with you. I will take a smoking area away from this place altogether and it'll be a no smoking venue. But for now, use the shunted all the way around the back. We will have ashtrays and all that good stuff for you. So if you are a smoker, please come out the back and do not litter your butts because I've got security cameras and I know who will do it. So don't do it. The veggie garden as well, from time to time, will have veggies, which will be enticing to pick. Feel free to pick some, but make sure you do leave some for me as well because I'm hungry and I'm growing and I like to eat. A roller skating ring. So I am currently on the roller skating ring. It's about eight o'clock at night right now and this is what it looks like. We're gonna have music pumping, but of course for monetization reasons, I can't have music right now. But I'm just gonna do a quick loop of the roller skating ring and yeah, I'll bring you down into here and show you what it's like. So I'm just rolling around the roller skating rink now. I do have a few obstacles like a hose and a couple of things I have to move, but our roller skating rink is quite a big area around. It's basically like one and a half basketball fields long, plus you've got a little bit off to the side here as well, all along these walls. We have a couple fans up here. I just want to mention one or two things when we are on the roller skating rink. You will notice there's a little cove off to the side here. Ignore the doors and the gate, everything will be shut. But this little cove is like, if you get tired, if you need a break, anything like that, this is where you can come and have a rest. We don't want people hanging out here. I have advised my staff to not let people loiter in the corner or do suspicious activities, anything like that. So yeah, come down. We can't wait to see you all here on Saturday, Sunday, having a skate and enjoying Rem Recreational Center. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full lap of the reef right now just to show you the slides. We have quite a decent amount of room here. We want to keep the outside of the room for people who are going to stay a little bit faster and people that are a bit more experienced. And we'll keep the inside of the room here for the people that are a little less experienced or need to gain a bit more confidence as we will have someone in the center of the field on roller skates at all times. So if anyone has any trouble, needs any questions, any assistance whatsoever, we will have a staff member here at all times to help you out. Okay, really quickly, while I'm editing this video, I just realized that I said that all backwards. It's meant to be the beginners on the outside and the more experienced people on the inside, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure this is the first roller skating rink I've ever set up. So more experienced people, if you know anything better, please let me know. But that's what I'm pretty sure. We'll go with that. Back to the video. We have some epic B-roll coming in three, two, one. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go
finally explore everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Supporting me coming to our opening weekend this weekend is going to be a massive support. So come down, show your support, it doesn't go unnoticed. I just want to say a massive thank you, and I love and appreciate every single one of you.